take a piece of my quarter inch black RO tubing and plumb it into the black 2A divider. Like all Groonix water filters, the black line is the drain side and put the black tubing to it. And then make sure the flush valve is open. Open means it's parallel to the drain line. Perpendicular is closed. So we're gonna make sure that the flush valve is open for startup. And then I'm gonna take the white permeate or RO out tubing and connect it to the auto shutoff valve. We call them ASVs for short, most often. And we're gonna leave it like this. And this will get connected uh, either to a tank with a float valve or a reservoir or whatever your, your storage solution is gonna be. And now we're gonna hook up the drain line to a drain clamp. Okay, so connecting the drain clamp is uh, really simple. You're gonna take a pipe underneath your sink or any existing pipe. Uh, you're gonna drill a quarter inch hole into it, uh, preferably on the top radius. You don't really want to drill it on the bottom because this is drain water. Uh, you're gonna take the sealing gasket that it comes with in the kit. Just open it up, put it over the hole like that. Take the drain tubing, push it into the fitting and all the way through about a half an inch. Just like that. This way you can easily locate the hole that you just drilled and put the tubing through the hole. Let it stick into the pipe about a quarter inch or a half inch and simply snug up the nuts and bolts and the drain saddle is attached. Really simple. We're gonna run the drain water into our sink or basin. You can do the same thing too. You can also run it out to plants in the yard and feed outdoor plants with it. Put it to good use. And the RO tubing we're gonna leave here. Now we're going to plumb up the feed water to the input of this unit. In the kit, we give you a garden hose adapter, which allows you to hook it up to a garden hose in a pinch. We're not big fans of garden hose fittings here for long-term installations, because they don't seal on the threads like NPT fittings. They have garden hose compression washers. Not a great thing for long term, but if you're in a pinch or you're in a greenhouse, you're more than welcome to use a garden hose adapter. So to use a garden hose adapter, you simply thread the adapter on the end, the male end of a garden hose, and take a piece of the 3 8 tubing that we give you and hook it up to the 3 8 fitting here in the, in the input of the unit. We're going to hook it up to tubing. And to do that, we're just going to grab our feed it's feed water tubing and seat it into the reducing tee all the way past the o-rings fully seated uh, we're hooking it up to a three-quarter inch stainless valve on about six feet of tubing uh, and it's that simple we're all plumbed in on this gx 400